Hello. I wasn't always a teacher, you know. For many years I was a child and a pupil at a school in East London. This is me, at the beginning of my photo timeline, which will take us from 1971 to 2012. Yes, that's me, with the tomato dungarees. <laughs> this is a photo of me, uh, aged, uh, I think, five or six years old, uh, appearing in the local East London advertiser, uh, wearing an Easter bonnet hat. Growing up, I was an awfully shy kid. This is taken when I was 14 years old, at the back of the garden in Wells next to the sea in Northland. And now we've jumped 16 years to 2001. I was 30 years old when I graduated from Anglia Polytechnic University. I did sociology, and this is my graduation day, as you can probably tell. And immediately after my degree, I was elected Education and Welfare Officer for Anglia Students' Union. Uh, these are my fellow sabbatical officers from that year. Uh, the photo was taken at uh, Alton Towers in Staffordshire. And during the year as a sabbatical officer, I represented students and uh, ran an advice centre. And I also took part in student campaigns like this tuition fee demonstration in London in 2001. And after working at HMV and 18 months at Ofsted in Harlow in Essex, I came back to North Norfolk where I landed a job working at a newly established Real Owl Shop. And after leaving the Real Owl Shop, I continued to work with alcohol uh, for two years, being front of house and barman at the corner house in Wales next to the sea. Well, during my time at the corner house, I decided to take one day off in order to dress up as a pirate and sit on top of a ship's mast in Wells Harbour for seven hours. This is me during my seven hour stint up the top of the Albatross mast in Wells Harbour. The purpose of this was to raise some funds to pay for a flight for me to go out to Tanzania to work uh, teaching in an orphanage. And this is how my fundraising activities were reported in the alumni magazine of Anglia Polytechnic. And to cut a long story short, I raised enough money to get myself out to Tanzania, and this is me in the orphanage in Busuela with some of the kids there. Uh, I was a volunteer teacher there for three months. And after my stint as a volunteer, I took a week's break, staying in the country to do a bit of sightseeing. Uh, this is me going to a Maasai market and dressing up as a Maasai with the fimbo, the Maasai stick. This is near Arusha National Park. And this is me at the top of Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest freestanding mountain in the world. It took five days to climb, it was the, one of the most exhilarating experiences of my life. And this is where my new professional career began, uh, without any particular teaching qualification, I headed out to South Korea with my vocabulary sheet in my pocket and a Lonely Planet guidebook. And in Korea, I taught at Chung Chul Hakwon in Changwon, in Gwangnangchi. And I taught at Chung Chul Hakwon for a year, teaching 7 to 16 year olds. This is during the rehearsal for one of many versions of Little Red Riding Hood. And whilst in Korea, I continued to develop an interest in making films and short videos. This is an outtake from a film I made for a recruiting company in Seoul. And this is a screen capture from a video which I made documenting my first week as teaching at Hagwa. And this is a music video that I made and put on YouTube, which uh, features me visiting Seoul for the first time. And this is an outtake from a video which I made on Christmas Day 2007 with my friend Gary. I really enjoyed my time in South Korea. I, I went mountain climbing, I, I really liked the food, and I enjoyed sleeping over at Jinjil Bangs. And getting around the country was very easy. I particularly like Hangul, the Korean writing script. It was very easy to pick up, and the style of language makes it the easiest language I've ever tried to pick up or learn in my life. Unfortunately, my time in South Korea came to an abrupt end. Having completed a year successfully, I re-signed for another year, and six weeks into it, realised that I'd made a mistake, and so I left, and came back home. 
Despite the disappointment of leaving South Korea early and having had a difficult winter because of it, I then undertook a CELTA qualification at the Norwich Institute of Language Education in the spring of 2009. And it was a fabulous experience on the CELTA training course. Here's me with my fellow trainees. Four weeks of intensive, hands-on, practical English language teaching skills in the bag. Culminating on Red Nose Day, in which I sang a song in French for charity. And my first job after completing the Cambridge CELTA was to actually teach in Cambridge. And here I am in the centre of the city, having taken some students out from the Leeds School as part of my employment for the summer school, the Bell Educational Trust. I was very happy to be there, as you can tell. And the very first task-based project which I did with some elementary level students was to make a, a film, and at their choosing we made a zombie film. And I was really proud that we managed to uh, ignore the handbook's advice about not attempting to make a film with students in the limited time space that we had. I was really proud of the effort we made during that time. It was great fun in the summer in Cambridge at the Lees with Bell with students from all over the world. I enjoyed it so much that I re-signed for the following year and I also managed to get three extra weeks of work at Bedgebury in Kent and over the sites here doing an immigration role play. And I was back with Bell in Cambridge in the summer of 2010 and on this occasion doing a survey about memory asking people of Cambridge what they thought and what they can remember. And another of the highlights of 2010 was to make another film, this time a pastiche of Romeo and Juliet, again initiated, directed by and starring the students of my second project of that year. And this culminated in the final project, which is all about breaking news. In between my two stints at the summer school in Cambridge, I had nine months in Belle, Beijing, and here I am, as you can tell, at the Great Wall. It was a fascinating nine months in Beijing, during which time I got to experience a lot of the Chinese culture. And I worked at the Central Academy of Fine Arts in Wangjing. This is the view of the university from the tower block, where I lived with a Chinese woman and her nine-year-old son, who I also taught in the evenings. And here's me with some of my students. Some of them are now studying in the UK at places like the Glasgow School of Art. It was also surprisingly the second time I had to use chalk to teach, having also used chalk under the mango trees in Tanzania. And this is me on the far right posing for the students on graduation day. Fast forward, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, and this is me looking out from Kingdom Tower. I had just arrived. And this is where I taught, at the King Saud University, for proud two years. I was originally contracted just for one month, and it flew by. I didn't even have to teach in the last week because it was a national holiday. I had such a good experience in my short time there that I felt that if I got another opportunity, I would go back. Here's me with my level 3 intermediate class from October 2010. And, sure enough, I did get another opportunity to go back, this time for five months, from February to June 2011. And this time I joined a social group, a walking group known as the Hash. We'd drive out into the desert in 4 by 4s every so often, a chance to escape from the city and the dust of Riyadh. And this is me trying to learn about Saudi culture at the Janadria festival just outside of Riyadh. And I think this is us shopping for goodies in the Dira Souk, the south side of Riyadh. And this is me, actually working, uh, practicing for an induction video that I arranged to do with my level 7 class. And this is Solomon, 
the first student to speak on the induction video that we finally made. You can see this video elsewhere on my blog. And here I am on my final day with Yasser and Nasser and the rest. As I'm on the phone, distracted as normal. While I was at KSU, I met people like Dick Dendle and Nick Peachy. And they were talking to me about doing an MA. I was coming to the end of three complete years as an English language teacher. And they recommended this over and above a Delta. And on an inset session taken by one of my colleagues, the MA at the University of Warwick was mentioned. I applied in the summer of 2011. Next thing I know, here I am at the University of Warwick. This is outside the library. And I've thoroughly enjoyed my time so far. And here is the best night so far, for me anyway. This is the end of the first term's teaching. Thank you for watching and thank you for getting all the way through 55 slides. If you want to see any of the videos or some of the videos that I mentioned, then click on the video page on my blog. Thanks again. Bye.